Hello. John, one. Now, we don't have any bread, I'm afraid. And after the behaviour of you lot last night, or yesterday, oh, oh go on, go on, show us your, show us your backside. Bye-bye. Let's see another boat, yeah. You're very fickle, you know. Wait till the Queen hears about this. Good morning, everybody. Hello, it's everybody. the beginning of May. It's first day back in term. What do you think? Uh, she's heavy. Oh, Ethel went for a swim yesterday. Twice. Uh, uh, when, when we say swim, we kind of chuck, chucked her in. <laughs> but you, you learned how to hold your nose, didn't you? Oh, she's too heavy. She's going down. She's, anyway, she's... good morning, everybody. Hello. Let me just tether my animal. We're um, we're on again on a short cruise today. Hopefully. Hopefully, past the shoppy fly, and see if there's something on the forty-eight visitor hour moorings. Oh. Now, what day did you say it was today? Monday. No, it was a special day. I know that the 19th of September, folks, is International Talk Like a Pirate Day. Oh, no, I just said Poker Pensioner Day. Yeah, he's decided today is Poker Pensioner Day. So I expect lots of poking. Yeah, all right. <laughs> I don't know. We're just approaching the bottom lock at Orslem. But it started to rain. I don't think it's going to amount to much because it's forecasting high 20 degrees. Imagine you can have that in rain, can't you? But anyway, I'll see. Uh, this is not going well. We're just entering the bottom lock of 15 and there's another flight of five after that before there's a windy knoll. There's a windy knoll here. If we get up here without having a divorce, it'll be a miracle. Uh. Remember if these are vicious or not. Order them lock number 15. And the sun's come out. Hurrah! Mm. Someone coming out of the next lock, heading in our direction. They did close the gates, but then they must have seen us. And they've reopened them. That's a good day. That's only two locks. Anyway, we got gazumped at that lock, a bit naughty. But we've never come through Audlem without that happening to us. But there's a water point 
on the lot landing and there's a service point just around the corner so we've emptied the rubbish we've emptied the potty and we've filled up with water so we're all right we're good for a few days so those people that see it always happens if, if, if we if we behind somebody at a lock you know especially if there's only two of them and one person doing all the all the hard work Tom will go up and help them because it helps us in the end but once somebody's cast off and taken out a lock that's it <laughs> you'll struggle Those of you that watched our comfortable nun video, he's telling me there's somebody coming. I'm starstruck because he's just seen somebody who had a few episodes in Coronation Street 15 years ago. He doesn't even watch Coronation Street. Ooh, we're all doomed. Yeah, there's something about Auckland flight brings out the worst in people. I mean, it's actually a lovely flight of locks, but... Gentleman, the, the gentlemanly behaviour that I was talking about in the previous video just doesn't apply on these locks. People see you go and set a lock and then frantically undoing knots and pushing themselves out to take the lock. Well, my answer to you is... Because <laughs> you won't be getting any help from us. Well, we were going to moor there. But we seem to have hit the shelf. So we're going to go up a bit further. I'm not in any hurry. Well, I'm not. Mr. Grumpy is. I'm trying to float, drift, slip, stop, whatever. Avoid it in these boats. The lot landing, it's got a lot of fence posts around it where it's all collapsed. And I ain't that steady on my feet anyway. So I'm going to try and drift. There's a boat coming, well, it should be out any second now.
Yeah, that was particularly horrific by wash. There's a boat in front who just emptied a lock into a lock full of water into a small pound and it all went cascading around the side. It's a good job we haven't had the blacking done yet. This is lock number nine. Feels so been here a fortnight. It stopped raining. Vitamin D. We're only halfway up the Orsland flight. My Mr. Wibbly Wobbly has had enough. But I don't think there's any more in between here and the top. Tom's just opening the gate, number eight, I think. Another vicious bar wash. We're in lot number eight, so technically as we leave it, we're halfway through. And I've come to the conclusion, where are we? Over here. That on a hot day like this, 15 locks is too much for someone with Parkinson's. And I'm pretty sure there's no more in spots on the flight. Oh well. It's boating for you. It's like being in the jungle. It's like being in the jungle. Pastors said there's no nobody else coming down behind them, which is a shame because we've we've been one in one out passing. I think I can't remember if this is number seven or number six. But the next lock's only a couple hundred yards away, and Tom's already been up and opened the gates. So we just got to pray that nobody comes down and shuts them. Yeah. Oh, I want to sit down.
I don't know what number lock we're on now. Because somebody's painted the numbers out. Hello? Hang on, might be some shouting. We've got a magnet fisher who has followed us up certainly the last ten locks. Dipping his whatever. But if he goes round our prop there will be blood. And it it won't be unintentional blood. <laughs> 